Racing got underway. At the Royal Ocean Racing Club's Vice Admirals Cup on Saturday, the 22nd of May with four highly competitive races for all eight classes. The gale that had blown through the Solent the previous day had passed, but there was a moody sky as the 55-strong fleet headed out to the combat zone. A gentle breeze from the southwest, oscillated during the day providing shifty conditions. In the fast 40-plus class, Nicholas Zenstrom's ran, won two of their class races to finish the day top of the leaderboard. Peter Morton's Jean Genie is in second place, no doubt enjoying his first race victory in his new boat, beating Ran by just over a minute in race three. Christian Hamilton and Guy Gillen's fast 40-plus, Kumbu, got off to a great start, taking line honors, the corrected time win in race one. Kumbu finished the day in third place, just two points ahead of Ino 30, with Rourke Commodore James Neville at the helm. Day two in the other classes saw, in the quarter tonner class, Sam Laidlaw's BLT leads the class having claimed two race wins. Rob Bottomley's Mills 42, Sailplane 3, had a spectacular day, scoring three bullets to top the performance 40 class. Tony Max McFly leads the class by just one point from Cornell Rickland's Jitterbug, with both boats scoring a pair of wins each in the J. 111 class. David Richards, jumping jellyfish, leads the J109 class after four races. Russell Peters, squirt, had a perfect start to the Cape 31 UK season, winning all of today's races. Glyn Locks, Toucan, opened their defense of their Vice Admirals Cup title with three straight bullets. And the SB20 class was an awesome sight today, especially in the final race, scorching downwind in a ball of spray. Stephen Proctor's, excellent, scored three impressive race wins. The Royal Ocean Racing Club's Vice Admiral's Cup then came to a conclusion on Sunday the 23rd of May, after two days of racing in fresh to feisty conditions in the Solent. The final day of racing produced more challenging conditions for the high-performance classes racing under IRC and one design class rules. A gentle southwesterly wind with clear skies was soon replaced by a significant rain squall with over 20 knots of breeze, gusting over 25 on occasions. Congratulations to the eight class winners, Nicholas Zenstrom's, Ran, Rob Bottomley's, Sailplane 3, Glyn Locks, Toucan, Sam Laidlaw's, BLT, Tony Max, McFly, David Richards, Jumping Jellyfish, Russell Peters, Squirt and Stephen Proctor's, Excellent. Racing with the Royal Ocean Racing Club continues next weekend, with the 230 nautical mile offshore Myth of Malham race. The first major offshore race of the year mirrors the start of the Rolex Fastnet race. Well over 100 boats are expected, which will be an impressive sight, starting from the Royal Yacht Squadron line on tomorrow, Saturday, the 29th of May.